in triangle ABC. Angle A is equal to 80 degrees. Angle C is equal to 20 degrees. Point D is on segment AC. AB is equal to CD. What is the angle of angle BDA? We start by checking the hidden conditions in the problem. Angle A is equal to 80 degrees. And angle C is equal to 20 degrees. So angle B. That's equal to 180 minus 80 minus 20. Which is equal to 80. So we know that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Let's check the relationship between 80 degrees and 20 degrees. 80 minus 20 is 60. And 60 degrees is a special angle. Now, let's try to use these relationships to solve the problem. Let's make a triangle BCE that is congruence to triangle ABC. Let them overlap at base BC. The overlap creates an angle of 60 degrees. Triangles BCE and ABC are congruence. The triangle BCE is also an isosceles triangle. So, BE is equal to BC. Angle CBE is equal to 20 degrees. Let's go ahead. Segment AB is equal to EC. So EC is equal to CD. The triangle ECD is an isosceles triangle. It has an angle of 60 degrees. The triangle ECD is equilateral. So ED is equal to CD. Between triangle CBD and triangle EBD, there is a common side BD. Meanwhile, BE is equal to BC. ED is equal to CD. Therefore, these two triangles are congruence triangles. We get angle CBD is equal to angle EBD. And these two angles add up to 20 degrees. So angle CBD is equal to 10 degrees. We know angle BDA is the outer angle of angle CBD and angle BCD. Therefore, angle BDA is equal to 10 degrees plus 20 degrees, which is equal to 30 degrees. So, X is equal to 30 degrees. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Turn the bell on. And you won't miss my future videos. See you next time.